Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, tonight's clip is going to be about one of the most precious and most valuable nights in the year. Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Quran, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. We have sent it down, referring to the Quran, in the night of Al-Qadr. The night of Al-Qadr is a great night. And Allah Azza wa Jal called it a blessed night. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil mubarak. We have sent it down in a blessed night. The virtue of that night uh, is as reported by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Anas said that when Ramadan came or approached us, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam addressed the saying, uh, this month, referring to Ramadan, has approached you. And in it, there is one night that is equivalent to 1,000 months in reward. Whoever is deprived of it will be deprived from great, a great deal of goodness. And only a truly deprived person is the one who will be deprived of it. A thousand nights, a thousand months is like 83 plus years. Of course, not including Laylatul Qadr in any of them. That's a lot of uh, reward for a single night. And a, uh, we're not talking a day, a 24 hour period. We're talking about a single night. Uh, that's generosity from Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal, through His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, encouraged us to strive hard to accumulate as much as we can out of that and promised us in return a great reward. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever prays the night prayer do, during the night of Al-Qadr, sincerely for the sake of Allah Azza wa and with the hope that Allah will reward him, all his previous sins will be forgiven. Everything is back to reset zero. That one single night. When is that night? Well, that's a matter that has a massive difference of opinions amongst these scholars. However, one thing that they agree upon is that it is during the last 10 nights of Ramadan. There are narrations that say they are during uh, that it is during the odd numbered nights of Ramadan, of the of the t rather the ten nights of Ramadan, the last ten nights of Ramadan. There are too many narrations and too many opinions regarding this issue, but it seems that it is not according to the different narrations and uh, statements of the companions. That it is not a fixed night every year and that it moves in the ten nights. Uh, what to do in that night? Uh, dua is the best thing. Plus prayer. However, Sufyan al thawri when he was asked, he said, For me it is better to supplicate Allah Azza wa more than I would pray. Aisha radiallahu anha uh, said, I asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if I happen to coincide, to know that uh, this night is f uh, the night of Al-Qadr, for example, what should I ask my Lord? What should I do? He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa O oh Allah, you are the pardoner who loves to pardon, so pardon me. One thing very important to note here, brothers and sisters, is that the night of Al-Qadr is not only for those who stand up for prayer. 
Because there are people who might be deprived from that out of their control. Women during their monthly menses or postpartum uh, bleeding or men who are traveling, they, they cannot actually uh, pre Qiyamul Layl in Laylatul Qadr. Are they deprived from the, re the, the reward of Allah, from the forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Jal? No, not at all. al dahaq rahmatullahi alayhi, said everyone will have his share of reward from this night that is proportional to his effort. So a woman cannot pray during her these, these two uh, situations. Well, she can ask Allah, she can raise her hands and ask Allah, supplicate Allah. Likewise, a person who's traveling, likewise, a person who's ill, who cannot stand up and pray. Allah does not deprive anyone who is sincere, who's truthful to Allah and who wants to be rewarded and works hard for it, Allah will not deprive him. So let us be keen when the last 10 nights begin. Since we don't know, it's only 10 nights. So let us begin with the 10 nights being serious because we don't know which one of the 10 is going to be Laylatul Qadr. As Aisha said, when the, whenever the last 10 nights started, the Prophet ﷺ would isolate himself from, from women and would tighten his belt, meaning he would take things seriously more than before and would approach Allah with worship. So let us do that to follow into the footsteps of the Prophet ﷺ. Allahumma. Assalamu alaikum.